toughest men in uniform today. That is the reputation won in battle by the men of the United States Army Ranger. In order to understand the significance of the U.S. Army Ranger School, you have to understand what a ranger is. Rangers take great pride in their elite history. Rangers have fought in wars from the American Revolution to the beaches of Omaha. Ranger School developed during the Korean War in order to teach soldiers how to lead through the most trying challenges of combat. Rangers know what it's like to be hungry, to be tired. They know pain and they know sacrifice. The school is open to all ranks, open to all branches, Navy, Marine Corps, Air Force, Coast Guard, as well as allied military students. It's also open to all jobs. The guy on your left or your right can be a medic, a truck driver, or an engineer. The purpose of Ranger School is to train soldiers to be leaders. Rangers are experts in leading soldiers on difficult missions in high stress situations. For more than two months, Ranger students train to exhaustion, pushing the limits of their minds and their bodies. When every aching bone tells them to quit, they keep going. Ranger School, we refer to it often as the Army's premier leadership course. It takes men and women to some dark places. You're not eating very much, you're not sleeping very much, and it's the closest the Army can get in a safe situation to simulating combat scenarios. Each time I met with a new group of men, in my head I was saying, okay, I have the ability to prove to them that women in the military can do a little bit more. And that's kind of how I woke up every day. Ranger School is advertised as a 19 and a half hour training day. While you're in the field, some days you get 15 minutes of sleep, some days you get 30 minutes to eat and sleep. Hands down, uh, being sleep deprived is much worse than being hungry. Let's put it this way. I was standing in cold water in the swamps, a full pack on my back, carrying a weapon, sleeping, just standing there, sleeping. Yeah, the pack was helping me float a little bit, and when we started moving, somebody had to wake me up so I could move forward, and that's not normal. In mountains, I volunteered to carry the 240 because I thought, well, I'm going to do it today, and we were walking through the mountains, and it was hard, and it was hard on everyone, but it was... It's that feeling of accomplishment. One guy said it to me one day, he's like, every, every hill you walk or every mountain you climb, you think you can't do it. And once you get to the top, you can't believe how easy it was. During the road march, I came in in the first quarter of the guys from our company. And some guy, I never saw his face, just said to me, you killed me. I ran the whole thing because every time I looked up, you were right behind me and I couldn't let you finish before me. And said to me, I'm sorry for everything you never heard me say. I'm sorry, and I've, I've changed. When I recycled, I called home to tell my husband, hey, you know how I said I was coming home to you? Well, I've got three more weeks, and then I restart. And he said to me, do you think you could possibly get through this? What do you think will be different? And I said to him, if I do nothing else here, every person I come into contact with, male or female, is changing their opinion about females in the military, about how schools are run, how we deal with each other. But people are, people are changing 